Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Amy. If you're new here, Merry Christmas everyone. I hope you're having an amazing time with your loved ones. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my best luxury purchases of 2021. I will also link to my more recent video where I share with you all the items that I have sold this past year and why. So that kind of gives you an idea of what didn't work out as well. I also want to thank today's video sponsor, Ana Luisa. As of right now, they're doing 10% off on their bestseller items and up to 60% off on all of their last chance items. If you ever order items with their gift packaging, that's what you get. You get their gift box, the ribbons. Both of these boxes have the exact same item. It is none other than this beautiful beautiful necklace from Isabelle. This is her design. I love the little dainty genuine pearl right in the middle of the necklace. It is stationary, it doesn't move around so it stays put on your neck. Beautiful box chain necklace in sterling silver dipped in gold and it has three different settings. It's not only a great piece on its own but you can also layer it with your other bigger necklaces and yeah one of my favorite pieces which is why I got two extras to give to my family members. A few pair of earrings that I thought were super cute earrings to give to your family members. So I am wearing one pair already. They are the larger size. I think it also comes in a smaller size. All of these pieces by the way are sterling silver plated with gold which is perfect if you have sensitive ears. This pair is called the mini love knot. I love the little design on it. It's very subtle. These ones have a post and backing and they are definitely long enough even if you have thicker ears because what I realized with some of my family members is that they have thicker earlobes and some of the earrings that I gifted to them before they couldn't wear because they were too small like the post size was too short so I know this one will definitely fit. Up next we have these cute Onda small so whimsical and so cute they are very comfortable on and super lightweight again the design is just super cute they look like a little puzzle shape. Up next we have these Huggies they are called the Mali Huggies earrings so this little plastic piece doesn't come with the earrings I just put them on so that I don't lose them. You just loop them around your ears and you kind of place them in a way that you like and it becomes like a little crawler on your ears but they're very dainty and very well made. Again, these will fit someone with a thicker earlobe because on me they actually will slide because I have thinner earlobes. Up next we have something called the Elise set. This was sent to me out of the blue. I never ordered this one and never asked for this one so I uh, would think that this was a Christmas gift so thank you Ana Luisa for sending this over. It comes as a set with a pair of earrings and necklace. Love the fact that they are so so classic looking. Last but not least I also ordered this item. Uh, so they are exactly the same thing. They came in this carton box. These would make perfect gifts. Again, it's just in their vegan leather and it has this beautiful zip pull. Opens really smoothly. So it opens into a mirror. If you pull that little tab here, you also will discover another compartment. And then of course in your main compartment over here you have slots for your rings and your other items and it is just the perfect travel companion. You check out my Ana Luisa link down below. They are having their biggest sale as I said and I will also make sure to list all of the items that I have featured down below. This year has been less about handbags, a lot more about accessories which is why I will just go through all the handbags first. So the first handbag that I wanted to feature which is one of my most recent is the beautiful Hermes Picotin touch in alligator and mine is in black color. So this is in black Clemence leather, in black alligator handle and palladium hardware which is their silver tone hardware. I absolutely am in love with this bag. I always wanted a picotin but I did not expect the touch version which 
to me is icing on the cake. I did not know that I needed the touch version because as you can see, they just stand on their own, the handles themselves. It gives them more structure, but not only that, I also of course have my very trusted Samorga organizer in there. As you can see, I got sort of like a tan color organizer because I was hoping to get the gold color picotin, but honestly black is the best color because you can never go wrong with black and i never thought that i could get a black one anyway because black is apparently one of the hardest colors to get i will say though that if this bag was offered to me in their regular most basic um, clemence i would prefer it in a color but because it is in black i actually find it more sleek than it is in the croc touch uh, and in black color like i said and i love the palladium because it makes it a bit younger too um, yeah, a bit younger, a bit more modern, and just a little bit less uh, dressy because this bag is sort of, I mean, it's not super dressy, but it's a little dressy. So with the Palladium hardware, it just kind of dresses it down a little bit and it's absolutely one of the easiest bag to get into, as you can probably tell, because you see everything at a glance. You can open it wide like this. And um, yeah, it just, oh, just holds everything, super lightweight and I mean, look at this gorgeousness, right? There's nothing to not like about. Up next, of course, we have the one and only classic flap. Uh, the one and only classic flap I have in my collection right now. Mine is in the light gray color from the 21A Métier d'Art collection. And um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. It has light gold hardware with this sort of dove gray caviar very shiny small size flap the only size flap that i ever will need and it's just it's just a perfect classic flap for me i've always wanted to have at least one classic flap and granted i did have my jumbo single flap which is perfectly fine it was a little bit big for my liking and of course i have recently sold it so this is really now my only classic flap in my collection um you know it is a small size i will say it's you know it really doesn't fit as much as it looks i think unless there was another unicorn color or I don't know, maybe I go crazy with classic flops in the future, then I will most likely just gonna have this one, which I'm perfectly content with. And uh, yeah, I mean, this color is just to die for, right? Grays, they don't make a ton of gray, just like caramels. Chanel doesn't do a ton of caramels. So yeah, extra, extra special. and very glad that I got this uh, on my birthday this year. Two more handbags, and they are the exact same handbag, just in different colors that are absolutely the best purchases of the year. So of course, I will talk about the black one first. Uh, this is my most used handbag of this past year, even though I just got it in the fall, but oh my goodness, this little micro bag is just the dream. It is everything a micro bag needs to be that will fit your bare essential, like literally your lip balm, your keys, your ID cash type of thing, but it's also super cute as a little date night clutch where uh, you're basically just flexing a little bit as you are holding it by the little handle. And I love wearing this and styling this so, so much. In the winter, I wear it underneath my large coat. And in the summer, I just, actually I didn't have it in the summer, but I did have other micro bags in the summer, which I absolutely enjoyed and adore, but like I said, I went a little cray cray this year with the micro trend, which is why I downsized to keeping only my favorite ones and the ones that I absolutely use the most, just because I favor the top handle so much. So I have these two, I have the round clutch, and those are the only micro bags I have left right now in my collection. And I'm really happy with this decision because like I said, it just sort of happened one after another and after owning all of them and only mainly using the black one only this particular one because i really do like having this top handle this top handle costs a lot of money because this version is the most expensive of all of them but to me that extra bit of money for the little top handle is everything so love 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 this 
from the 21K collection. So this is the dark pink version from 21K, which is slightly different from the 21A pink color. That one is sort of more of a deeper red color. And I like it too, but I do think that this is more vibrant. It's definitely more summery. Um, I haven't used this one yet. I feel like black is so easy. I don't have to think about it. So I always just ended up taking this out and you know, with the pandemic, not, not really going out that much anyway, but this would make a great summer little micro bag, which is the reason why I uh, also got it and also kept because I will most likely use this one like 75% of the time. And I feel like when summer comes around, I will be using this one a little bit more. Uh, definitely my love bracelet. So this is the small love bracelet. So the thinner version in rose gold. I have mine in 15 centimeter and it's absolutely the best purchase of the year. I purchased mine in April and I've pretty much been wearing it nonstop never even removing it. I did remove it a bit more at the beginning when I was just getting used to the piece and sort of babying it a bit. But after I got a few scratches on it and especially the biggest scratch on it, I just I just didn't care anymore. I just got used to the idea of having a bracelet on me first of all, like all the time. And then after a while, I just I just didn't mind getting uh, any dings on it anymore because um it doesn't even show very well. It's still so, so, so very shiny. It, it, absolute, it absolutely is the most comfortable piece on my arm. Like I said, I haven't removed it since maybe, since May, I would say. So it's been a good six months, six plus months. And um, this piece suits me aesthetically. Uh, it's more dainty, but it's still very weighty and very substantial. I feel like you get a lot of, um, bang for your buck in the luxury world of fine jewelry i feel like they uh this one is well priced to be honest and so i highly recommend this piece for anybody um, but especially if you are a very petite person and you have very petite wrists if your wrist was 12.5 centimeters it will still fit you very well because my wrist is 13 centimeters and it's it's literally the most comfortable thing ever. It usually sits right about here. It kind of gets stuck there, but it's stuck in a way that is comfortable. You don't really notice it. So absolutely, absolutely recommend this piece. And of course, the other piece of jewelry that I really, really love and that I find has been one of the best luxury purchases of the year is this Hermes ring. So I have a total of two Hermes ring. This one is the Kelly ring with the four diamonds. So this one is the small size. There's an extra small size, which I did not like as much. I definitely preferred having the small diamonds on it. It's very tiny. It's not even that. Um, the diamonds are very, very dainty. Like they are so small that they don't even, they don't even reflect any light, but it does add to the aesthetic anyway. And I really love the design. It's very simple, but still very edgy. And even though I do have the CDC ring as well, the CDC ring is just as beautiful, a little bit more sort of grungy even. Um, I will say both of these are good purchases, but I have been favoring the Kelly for some reason. I don't know what it is that I just have been favoring this one. So it's good to have both. Um, but I will say both of these are absolute best purchases as well. Um, yeah, but the Kelly ring is just so dainty and just so edgy at the same time without being too grungy. This one can be a bit grungy, but honestly, it's they're both beautiful pieces. And of course, what I'm also wearing on my left arm this time is my Hermes Apple Watch. This is, of course, one of the best purchases of the year. Being on this Hermes journey, I am more inclined to finding things to buy. So. One of the things that came up in October because of the whole new Series 7 launch is that, you know, I could buy the Hermes watch as part of just creating this more diverse profile at Hermes. Of course, this product is probably so in demand that they don't really need you to buy it to add to your profile, but I, I wanted to. So it, it kind of did push me a little bit towards that direction because of being in this whole Hermes journey, of course. Being that it's in the Hermes 
edition comes with you know the Hermes band and the extra faces that alone is worth the extra money to me I honestly think that I will feel a bit underdressed if I just own the regular Nike watch or the regular Apple watch and there's nothing wrong with those honestly there's really nothing wrong with those but I just know myself that I might as well just get the extra little bit because it suits my whole aesthetic even though I'm wearing this very dressy shirt today it still kind of goes together you know what I mean like it's still a bit sporty but it still kind of goes together because I do get the um, more unique watch band it's more feminine the stainless steel adds to the luxury uh, even the watch face I love the watch face on this so uh, to me they are absolutely worth every single penny and on top of that this Apple product is just absolutely outstanding and uh, I probably cannot live without an Apple watch from now on and I have on my hands three pieces of costume jewelry that are my absolute best and favorite purchases uh, of the year so not in any particular order but since I'm holding the earrings and I just kind of want to put them down once I show it to you my heart earrings are absolutely my favorite favorite costume jewelry pieces that I have added to my collection this year so I've added these heart earrings first these are from 21B and these are just the most cutest bubbly heart in a more sort of princessy cartoon-ish very sort of dreamy kind of heart with sparkles these are just so stunning and these are my absolute most favorite cannot stop wearing them type of earrings this past um, fall because I got these in the fall Chanel knows how to get to you when they do something good they repeat it in a way they repeat it so uh, in 22 cruise they release these ones actually they released so many heart earrings during this season but I will say that this one is my favorite they are very similar style but still different this one definitely has more of a vintage vibe which is also absolutely stunning I will say that these are definitely more substantial there's a bit more weight to them they feel more heavy because these ones are so light they're featherweight they weigh nothing these ones they actually feel heavier uh, not in a bad way just different and they look and uh, they look different on so which is why which is why I had to have both in fact I have another pair of heart earrings I bought from the same season as these but I will say this one is still my favorite for sure one of my forever piece is this beautiful choker from 21k Oh my goodness, this choker is everything. This one is literally the most perfect one. It has the chain detail, it has the pearl detail, it's black and white, which is honestly so classic. It's so Chanel. Everything Chanel, everything signature to Chanel is on this choker. So I was very, very, very happy that I was able to track this down in Canada and buy it. And um, it wasn't easy. <laughs> It's so hard to buy chokers from Chanel. Um, it's probably go not going to be my last, but I will say that this being my first, I am absolutely, s I'm just over the moon having this one. It's just, oh, I could have worn it today. It's I'm not sure how many of you are new to my channel, but if you are new and you've been enjoying this content so far, make sure that you subscribe because I would love to have you back. And also I wanted to mention, since a lot of you might be new or maybe newer to Chanel, a lot of the Chanel pieces, if not most of them, are seasonal. When you hear that something is seasonal, it means that once it's out and they sell out, then it's no longer gonna be available, ever. Which is why I still sometimes get comments in some of my older videos where they watch me unbox something and they can't find that item anymore that's the reason because a lot if not most of the chanel items are seasonal and sometimes when a seasonal piece is very popular they will release it again as a permanent style and that's when you would be able to track it down once in a while whenever they come into your store so up next i will feature two belts that are absolute best purchases of this year as well and they're both from chanel 
And I was most surprised with this belt actually, because when I bought this belt, of course I loved it, which is why I bought it, but I just didn't know how much I would end up wearing it and how much it actually elevates a lot of my outfits. This elastic belt just is so amazing with any of the high-waisted pants. I thought I would wear it more to cinch in my dresses, but I actually don't do that. I really love wearing these on my high-waisted, more baggy pants. It really elevates the whole look. This CC buckle is just absolutely shiny and stunning, especially in photographs. It actually looks white. Um, it really just Oh, it really just makes the outfit similar to this belt, which I did not know I needed. So this one is definitely seasonal from 19B actually. Yeah, I got it in 2021 in January actually. So I've only been able to track this down a year later and there was one left in size 80. So even though this one is a size 80, which means that the smallest hole is probably a 75, which is still a bit too big for my high waist um i still wear it i just i just hack it i just make the clasp go all the way here stick it in there <laughs> and just make it work this belt i think it's self-explanatory why it's so good um it's just so classic it has classic features it has the classic chain it has leather and it has a little bit of cc logo but not too much so my next best purchase of the year are these beautiful chanel sneakers these are permanent so they came out in 2018 i believe and um, were so popular that they became permanent and so once in a while you will find them again so i love that it has the cc little leather tab it's actually fully lined in leather as well so it's leather inside and out really really awesome gorgeous chanel detail all over i'm putting it in this box because i don't want to hold them they are dirty i have worn them but these are just absolutely the most stunning piece of footwear it's elongating yet sporty um, but goes with almost everything with your dresses with your skinny jeans with your baggy jeans they do come with two sets of laces they also come with plain white laces but of course who would not use the signature Chanel laces, right? So I just kind of tie them like that in in like a neat bow detail and I just leave it as is. I just slip on and off these. I love that they're more narrow, elongating. I love they're more pointy. It works for my long toe. And um, yeah, they're just the perfect sneakers. I absolutely recommend these. So two of the hats that I feel have been the best purchases are these two. Let's talk about this one first. This would be my last Chanel item that I have to feature. This is, again, uh, part of a seasonal piece in one of the collections in the past, but then now it's a permanent. So it would have a um, style code of REV. And because they are permanent, they will come back every so often. So this is a tweed hat, tweed cap in black, and white it's actually ivory and white with silver threads throughout and a little bit of lambskin in the front and it's just black inside i got mine in size small i love this hat because it's just it's just everything it's so chanel um it's very wintry because it's tweed and it works really well with my kind of more uh present winter coat. So I have some winter coats that are more oversized so that there's a bit more presence to them. This hat just kind of adds to it. And I love that it's a lighter color too. So it brightens my complexion and um, yeah, I love having a nice little winter cap like this. But this one is also one of my favorites. So this is Hermes. This is one of their, I want to say that they are classic. It has these two stud uh, snap closure very very nice and palladium the outside is a wool material it does have sort of like a little dip here the design is it looks like one of those um riding riding hats the design itself the front here has some terry cloth it's just such an easy very understated but yet very sort of 
you know, nice hat that you can throw on. And of all my Hermes hats, this one is my favorite. Actually, I bought five hats this year because I have two other ones from Hermes. And I will say this one is my favorite because it's just so cool and easy to throw on. And I just don't have to think about it whenever I need to wear a black cap. And even though it is wool, it's kind of like a medium thickness. It's not so thick. It's not as warm as the neoprene one, actually. The neoprene one, because I think it's a synthetic material, I feel like it's less breathable, even though that one's very cute. But I just love the comfort of this one, and I love the understatedness of this one. Yet you can tell that it's designer. It's just so cool when you wear it. It's just so easy. All right, of course, we cannot not talk about some of my favorite silk items from Hermes. They are not only known for their beautiful leathers, but they also make extraordinary silks. They are well made. The patterns on them are just very flattering. And of course I do choose my patterns. So this one is really, really classic. Someone said that it reminds them of uh, Versace a little bit. So just stunning. I do have a whole video where I featured all my silk scarves and uh, showed you how I um, wear them. So I will link to that one here, but I will just quickly show you the gist of how they look like. So this one is again, really, really nice, neutral brown gray color with two horses. This one is called the Masan Masan. This one is a little bit more colorful and has a lot of very detailed prints on it, animals, circus, everything. It's just really, really stunning. And I love the um, pink undertone on this. It's just super flattering for my skin tone. Actually, this one, I love wearing it as a summer top. It's just is spectacular. But the one that started it all, and the one that is still to this day my favorite, is the circuit one. So this one is super iconic. This uh, circuit one is just absolutely stunning. Love wearing this as a top as well. This one as a top is just stunning, stunning, stunning. These other two are more as an actual scarf. They look great because they are more neutral. And they look a bit more boring as a top because there's... I don't know, maybe just the color doesn't uh, stand out as much on me. But as tops, this one with all the vibrant colors and this one because it's very bright and blue, it's just all oh, spectacular. So yeah, I absolutely recommend buying Hermes silk scarves as one of your first luxury items. They don't come in this dust bag, by the way. This dust bag belongs to the hat, but I do use it for my scarves. Okay, this last Hermes item is absolutely one of the best purchases which i did not even anticipate it being one of the best purchases but i think it became a best purchase because of how often i use it uh, and especially in the winter months because it is indeed this blanket so this is the Hermes blanket and this is the adult size not the infant size and is so rich and cozy and just beautiful I have mine in the beige and red color. I think it's called Rouge Ash, the color of this. And it's just oh, a dream to have this on top of my silk beddings in the winter. It's just nicer to have something heavier that can go on top of my own silk beddings already. And it just keeps me warm and comfortable. I think that's how babies feel, like new infants, when they are wrapped so tight when they go to bed, they feel comfortable and they feel secure. I feel like that's what this bedding, I feel like this is what the blanket gives me, which which is why it became one of the best purchases because I actually use it a lot. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa's links down below. And thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, everyone. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.